guys, it's Drew again. So I wanted to bring a special guest in. Um, this is my son, Aaron, and um, Aaron uh, is married. He lives about four hours away. We get to see him not as often as we would like, but uh, Aaron for Christmas this past year gave me a very special gift, and uh, he is here in my home or our hometown to um, to enjoy it with me, and which we did last night. So if you know me, if you know anything about me, uh, I love culture. I love um, high high end uh, stuff. So he got us concert tickets last night, and we went and enjoyed. Weird Al and um, the one and only and we had a good time it was a lot of fun um, you know that's the way I raised my son I raised him right um, which was parodies and stupidity and that's pretty much the way you describe it but anyway we went we had a great time just the two of us and then he got to spend the day with me he took the day off of work and uh, just did some stuff around got some work done just enjoyed conversation it was a lot of fun but in our conversations today we decided hey let's do a video I mean why not we can document this years down the road we can look back and remember this day what we did but um, I figured we'd come up but um, Aaron is not uh, he's never been a big uh, baseball fan he doesn't have the same passion for collecting so what I did was I said you know what do we want to talk about what do you want to talk about so I said why don't you go to the room and just kind of look around find a couple of things that stick out to you and we could just discuss those things what it, you know what it is about these why do you why do you are you drawn to this particular item and uh, just to kind of see it from his point of view and uh, so that's what we did so we picked two things out and we're going to talk about them a little bit so what's the first thing you picked out and kind of show it and I'll, I'll explain why I have it or what it is and and there we go so what you got so the first thing I picked out uh, catches my eye every time I come up here um, is this collection of team match boxes in a box it's a matchbox box and um, I just think it's neat. It's it's a nice collection, a collage of different teams and their logos and their art styles and colors. And um, I love matches and fire. And we won't get into that too much. <laughs> no, but, no. Um, yeah, it's just it it always catches my eye. It's neat. I remember when he got it, and I just I think it's cool. It's a yeah. nice a nice collection of things. Yeah. So that's what they are. They're boxes and matches with every team logo. Uh, my wife actually got it for me one year at Christmas. She was looking around eBay for kind of unusual baseball related things and came across it. Uh, it came in this plastic box that uh, they're, they're displayed in. Um, it's a little older, so it's got like the Expos. Um, it does not have all 30 teams. I want to say it's got 26 teams. So that means it was put together before the Marlins and um, Rockies entered the league in 93. And, um, but yeah, I think it's cool. It's got all the logos on it, all the different teams. And, uh, and apparently the top falls off, but, uh, but anyway, that's what, that's what that is. So, all right, cool. Um, I was going to show that at some video at some point in the future, but I'm glad he brought it up and, um, yeah, so that's that. So what else, what else, when you walk into the room and you look around, um, you know, I know you're in awe and uh, it's hard to catch your breath at, at the amazingness of this collection. But, uh, but seriously, what do you, what is it, what else is it that you like? Um, what else would you pick? Well, another thing I mentioned when dad asked what it is that draws my eye is, um, I just like the displays that he has, the display cases of his cards and balls and other parts of his collection. Um, and so I just picked up an example um, and it's just a, it's, I just like it. It's clean. It's concise. You know what it is. You know it's Peter Reese. And, um, you know, he's got several examples around the room that are similar to this. But, um, yeah, I, I, just, I like them. I like how displayable they are. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I love this piece. Um, as I've mentioned before, a Pee Wee Reese fan. I've got a collection. I'll show off other parts of it. But this one's really cool. Uh, I was able to find... Um, somebody who had a full uh, autograph book from 19 I believe it was 48 uh, from the Brooklyn Dodgers and he was disassembling it and selling off the different parts of course the two biggest ones that were in there were Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella beautiful examples of signatures couldn't afford those but he did so well on selling those off that I was able to get the Pee Wee Reese from the album which is down here so if you don't mind I'll show it a little closer it's a nice clean autograph and uh, wanted to do something cool with it 
And one of the coolest sets, I've got the complete set, is 56. And uh, I just think that Pee Wee Reese is super awesome. Um, you know, of course, the 53 Bowman is the card that, you know, everyone relates to him as the classic card. But this one's very similar to me. You know, it's got him still jumping over, turning a, a double play a second. And I found this image online and um, just thought it was really cool. It's actually during one of the uh, World Series against the Yankees. It's in Yankee Stadium. And um, of him just picking up and throwing action, action shots are not as easy to find from that era. And it just, I think it looks well, had it matted and, uh, and framed. And, and yeah, so I appreciate the fact that you appreciate it. Um, I have a few different displays, but this is definitely one of my favorites. So um, yeah, and if you, at some point I'll show off, but I had uh, Scott Reindeer Studios do a drawing for me uh, of Pee Wee Reese, a charcoal drawing. It's on his channel, if you know the series, and um, and it's actually based on this photograph. So uh, we can show that off at some point. Or do you want to just show it? Go ahead and yeah, grab sure. it real quick. Um, give shout uh, shout out to Scott and uh, appreciate him doing this for me back when he started. I think it was episode two, but uh, Scott did this drawing for me, charcoal, and it's of the same image as the one in the photograph sorry and i'm sorry for the reflection but scott did that it's just incredible and like i've seen a number of people talk about uh when if they were lucky enough to get one uh it's way better in person than it is on on camera and uh totally agree but uh yeah i appreciate i appreciate scott doing this and uh and i appreciate aaron bringing up the fact that he enjoyed it because again he's not a collector um, but he does appreciate the fact that I enjoy it so much. And uh, if you've never seen it, I've got a video about back in the beginning about a special story that we shared. Um, I think we could kind of share it again. Uh, you can go back and watch the full video, but kind of get it from his perspective. Uh, so I'll give the, the setup for it if you want. Sure. But in 2016, I had planned this trip. It was a road trip with some guys. I think there were six of us. And we, uh, we went up to Baltimore first, and we saw a game in Baltimore and toured around there. It was really great. And then we ended up going up to Cooperstown and went to the Hall of Fame and had a lot of fun just walking around. Well, one of the things I was able to do was I had found a box of 1989 Upper Deck unopened packs. And so everyone chipped in, and we paid. And then one night at the hotel lobby, we all sat around and... Um, decided to open packs you know and, and everybody you know had their however many there's I guess six packs a piece 36 36 packs in the box and uh, everybody had you know done it we just randomly put them out everyone picked them and uh, as a side note you know I'm a Griffey fan and I always I have and I have had a number of Griffey rookies but I never had pulled one and I always thought it would be super cool to pull one the odds of pulling one weren't very high and the odds of me pulling it six out of the 36 were pretty little but uh, but go ahead and take it from there. So yeah, so we um, you know we were gathered around the table pulling mm -hmm. packs and opening them, and um, we had a little side wager about whoever got the best card would get their dinner paid for by everybody else. That's right. I pack. forgot about that. Yeah, and um, so everyone's opening their packs, and um, I, did I go first? I you went, went first. We first. went by age, and you were the youngest yeah. there, so you went um, first. Yeah. So I I opened my first pack, and right in the middle of the first pack was there a was. rookie. Uh, King Griffey Jr. I was so excited. I was so excited. And, you know, as much as I would have loved to pull one myself, the fact that I got to see him pull one and keep it um, just as a father just thrilled me. I just thought it was great. Yeah, thought it was great. It was great. And um, went on to make a little display for him for Christmas that year um, uh, about that whole little trip. And uh, still, I know you have it because at your house you have it up. Yeah, right up you in put, my office, right by uh, my desk. Um, so you know when we come, got to get Dad's display out and stick it up there. No, um, it's always there. Um, it's always there. But, uh, but yeah, it was a great time. It was a great memory and, and just shared memories. And that's what, that's what collecting is all about. That's what I'm doing this YouTube thing is all about, is sharing and meeting so many great people, the support I've been given that I'm trying to give to others. And uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Aaron is not into, like I said, baseball, but he and I have been talking about the YouTube thing and people I've met and different different interesting fun stories and all that kind of stuff and uh, it's just been a lot of fun discussing and going through it so anyway I wanted to share my experience over the last two days with my son with you guys and I uh, thought it'd be fun to document it and stick it down there so Aaron I appreciate you doing this video and uh, and picking out a couple of things out of my collection to talk about and show off so um, yeah uh, any any parting words or anything before we go through but um, no just uh, you know it's always fun yeah. seeing 
people that are passionate about what they're passionate about. You know, even if I don't share that passion, I enjoy I agree. seeing that passion in people. So stay passionate. Yeah. Keep collecting. Even if others around you may not quite be on the same page as you, you know, it's it's great. It's part of what makes you you. Yeah. So. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I appreciate you guys coming along and listening to your little journey today. And uh, just go out, stay passionate about what you do, share it with those who you love, and, uh, and, and get involved in whatever they're passionate about, even if it's not your thing. But I appreciate it so much for you guys, for the support you've been given. But until next time, you guys be good.